flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Chris, found an exit. Oh, for a minute I actually thought we were doomed. Square, next to Carla the Cleaver Varessa's headquarters. Can't be a coincidence. His debtors have tended to disappear without a trace. Everything all right? A few bites on my feet and calves. Nothing really. Need to clean your wounds. Infection will set in otherwise. Later, Geralt. Let's find a way to the port first. He's pale. Dry it out. Wounds around the neck and shoulders. Still lit. Died recently from bites to the neck. source of income. Come on, let's go.
seagulls. Hear them? We made it. Come on. We need to ready the ship before the hunters learn what's happening. Finally. You bloody took long enough. Did you have time to look around? How's the ship? Creaky piece of junk. Woods rotting. Sails are prone to rip like an old pair of knickers. And the... Will we make it to Kavir? Provided you don't run into any storms. I'll signal the others to come. Any help? Can I play the violin for you? Fetch some flowers or bonbons? What the hell's that mean? What? Don't tell me you don't plan to beg her to stay. Why do you even care? I adore love stories. Especially the ones that end happily ever after. Hunters! Hunters approaching! Board the ship! We want them alive! Don't let him drive you back! Catch me for you! Dig strong. I don't know how to. No time for courtesies, my dear. Get on board. One last farewell. Thank you. I'll never forget what you did for me and what we had together. Stay with me. Carol, not this again. Especially not here. Not now. Miss Marigold, we got a sale. Please. We had our chance. But let it go. <sighs> I love you. Miss Mary Gold, we're casting off. Well, mate, at least you tried. A sorceress turned me down once. Want to hear the story? Go for it. What's the harm? As you know, my heart fluttered for Philippa Eilhart back when we both served Redania. One day, I doused myself in fragrances like a whore in a heat wave, put on a pinstripe doublet. They make you look slimmer, you know. And I went to her, told her, Philippa, with so much in common, and so on. Know what she said? Pinstripes hadn't slimmed you down enough? No. She said, Geralt, turn around. Not in the mood for jokes. No, I'm serious. Turn around. Triss? I thought... So did I. But I changed my mind. Thank you. I'm grateful. Dijkstra, no offense, but... Leaving, already gone. Let's go somewhere. I know a spot where we can watch the ships. Lead the way.
They're safe now, right? Yes, you can stop worrying, really. Oh, you're right. Just hard to believe it's over and done with. I've dreamt of this moment for months. Is how you imagined things? No. I imagined I'd be on the ship with the rest of them, and you'd be on shore, waving a handkerchief, maybe. I hope you don't regret it, that things have gone differently. Well, they say Kavir's lovely this time of year, but I prefer you. <laughs> Not surprised. I'm pretty lovely this time of year, too. I won't disagree. We might still go there one day, when it's all over. That would mean balls and banquets, and other boring things that start with a B. Mm-hmm, but also baths, bombs, body massages. You can make up for all those years you slept in the bushes and bathed in mountain streams. Sounds tempting. Would I have to give up being a witcher? No, you take a monster contract from time to time to stay sharp. Nothing too dangerous, though, so I wouldn't have to worry. And I'd be waiting for you. Let me guess. With a candlelit dinner? Candles, sure. And a bed. Actually... We've never needed either. Thank you, Geralt, for this, and for what you said at the port. I should have said it long ago. So, what happens now? Afraid it's a bit too early for happily ever after. get our happy ending one day yes somewhere over a hill and dale it's a cruel world we live in it's hard to make plans even harder to invest any faith in them though you might want to badly you were in an entirely different mood a moment ago hush the spark expired don't worry about me Geralt and please, be careful. I've got to find Siri. 
I'm close. I will find her. Or someone who knows what happened to her. Where will we meet? Can only think of one place where both witchers and sorceresses are welcome. Care more. I haven't been there in a while. So, I guess I'll see you, Witcher. I'll miss you. A lot. I'll miss you too. fragrance, acrid sweat, and chestnut balm for aching joints. Dijkstra. Ah, those witches' senses. Can't hide a damn thing from you lot. Same seems to be true for you. Will you ever leave me alone? Someday, sure. Once I no longer need you. <sighs> Dijkstra. What are you plotting this time? What would you say? How many mages did we save? All together? Dunno. Didn't count. Thirty, maybe? Give or take a few? And how many would you say remain in the north? How many alchemists, healers, herbalists? Two thousand? Three? Doing a population count? Is that it? No, I'm concerned. In Novograd they had us. We were here. But who'll save those in Rimba? Banard, Ard Craig, Gullet. You know damn well that daft bastard Radovid won't rest till he's killed them all. Every last one. Yennefer and Triss included. Moving as speeches go. Now get to the point. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to help me kill Radovid. Just not a regicide. Rumors to the contrary be damned. I know. I'm merely asking for your aid in organizing the assassination. Someone else will strike the blow. <sighs> Dijkstra. Might not have heard this, though I'd find that hard to believe. But witchers are neutral on principle, so... Oh, bollocks. That's a convenient excuse you lot try to hide behind every time the temperature rises. It's grown hot, my friend, and it grows hotter still. Pyres burn in every city. For majors, great and small, your female friends included. For non-humans, for witchers soon. Is that the North you espouse? The North you're prepared to live in? Silence. Cards close to your chest, I understand. To slay a king, it's not exactly some bloody necker contract. You think on this. Think on what I said. And if you conclude you'd rather change the course of history instead of riding its current to hell, you come find me. At the Passiflora in the garret. I'll be waiting with my maids. I'll think about it. So long, Geralt.
Shut It's him, you should burn oh, me! Yeah! They ought to never let your kind in. Quite smart. Like a girl. <laughs> Novigrad... Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. Listen. Listen. So long. Officially, they're tremendous. <laughs> Unofficially, they got their music. Shocking as shit, I know. Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Ever sailed there? Listen, the islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard, for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. Oh, did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had Captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough Skelliger for a lifetime. That record is the material world. <laughs> Devil spawn. Witcher. Oh. <laughs> Captain, no clue. This deck to shine like, like the silver always. on the Emperor's table. Devil spawn. Oh, 
up with me. You call this living, Witcher? I'm busy. <coughs> oh, you do well not to pester folk. Oh. You captain of this tub? What's it to you? I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the Black Ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstone from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows him.
back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afeard of dying. See, I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing clan on crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Fact is, even those who see her for a wench should gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Give me it all. Take a rest now. Something from the continent, I'll go on a raid. Yeah.
Nice and slow now. Hey, time somebody I'm can carry them. You have tried I wonder where they live. How they live at the bottom of the shore at large. Who are there, Richard? You're looking for work, black one. Can see Ooh. from afar. Stand the eyes. Our time amongst the living is but the wink of an eye. What's left when we are gone? not do this, child. I know. But I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Or... It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirzech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together, they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We've bid Bran farewell. 
Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Care Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. We don't have to go to this wake. Well, we don't have to go. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Reading my mind again? Mm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Venom? place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen. Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Ciri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Ciri was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Ciri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. White Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. 
I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I have something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. So much. Why the spit not? Because if it gets worse than a gun, and those herrings get tangled in your entrails. There'll be no hope We're for you. Good and true here. Should we so be on? May she oh, serve our king worthily. Should need a great few more days. We meet again. After the war. Last night too. Our valiant king. Red is our loss. All oh, must see the change your demise has We offer you our main. Greetings. You it. I am. Glad. Wise. Luxury.
scent of lilac and gooseberries, even with the lid on. Taste hasn't changed. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. Megascope? Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhart said, megascopes and toothbrushes, deeply personal possessions. It's not something I'd ever wear, but what don't we do for our... Hmm, who exactly is she to me? Hmm, the stuffed unicorn. She fixed it. Brynhilda like this one. I heard Grey Inga augurs your son's future. Ah. <laughs> Who's prepared to have a talk with me? Hey? Brand those swords, oh, but I prefer to trust the old son. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. 
It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me. But on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. Lovely outfit. You look dashing. Thank you. You're dazzling. <laughs> you know I really missed your candidness. I'm glad we're here together. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. This? Madman Ludos. Fucking lie. He was at the tavern the night bladded as a boatswain. Fine tell you, Trevor. Grand those swords. Geralt, do you think I donned an evening dress to show off for the seals? Just want to get some air. Very well. Once you've aired out thoroughly, find me by the entrance to the feast hall. Hey! What have you brought for the farewell feast? Bread. Sheep's milk mm. cheese. All those years. I actually wondered what you'd look like. And? Disappointed? You've not changed at all. Expect me to? What? Could have dyed my hair black? The black wolf. How's that sound? People change. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krak on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious witcher, Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand. Blue boy Lucas, Madman Lucas's firstborn. And choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Forgive me, I remember our meeting all those years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. Crack, her da, and her big brother Yalmer call a Sparrowhawk. A Yal's daughter she is. Fat lot of good it does it. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, will it be repeated? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you in? If the Witcher's in. Geralt? <laughs> Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go!
We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. Shall we put some coin on it, Lugos? Actually, dog shade idea. You never pay. One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. And lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. Mm. That'd likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. <laughs> Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Do you have no shame? Shame? Why would I? The queen should join her king on his last journey. Tradition demands. Why would you say that these things? The gods are not kind. Our isles are in the hard times. Tell me, Lagos. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen? He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called the truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue.
calm down, Lugos. No one shall teach me how to fight. That was not my intention. Come, Geralt. I believe this discussion's run its course. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Brass peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All right, nightingales croon. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia. Being romantic. <laughs> Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. A basin of water? For teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. You ah. come closer. They're everywhere. One less. Strange. Smells like mushrooms in the air. No. That's one less. That's one less. What? 
what's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Mind if we, uh, never mention this again? Naturally. Doors open. We'll proceed as soon as you've collected trophies of your kills. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it. Letter bearing Ermian's seal to the druids warns them about you. That brazen manipulator. <laughs> Wondrous world of insectoids. Seems Ritual Ermian has real plants. tobacco brought in. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlow, a biography enhanced. Gallagher's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraiths sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. A sword in a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. A goat carved out of linden wood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what... Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. Dwarven triple mead. Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. A child's skull. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. We must return to the feast quickly before... <laughs>
hear that? Smell it. Gas. Great still closed. Gotta think of something quick. The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. <sighs> Damn. I tore a hole in my dress. Wait a minute. I must mend it. You know how to sew. Please. I'll enchant a needle. Will be willing to help. He knew Siri well. She and Hjalmar played together as children. There. Good as new. Let's get back to the wake. Kraken Create asked about you. We went out. For a breath of fresh air. <laughs> the claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. Now heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. We'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond, and must now choose his successor. The king must be wise. The king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. With no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skelliger step forth. son could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. May the best man a woman win! What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her own. Aha! Children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control, no telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims 
City's in trouble. And you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Need your help. Siri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Siri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You've my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvald! Tell the druid I must speak to him, at the usual spot. I've one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Ulrich further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me. Or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes. I ask that you explain things to her, and bring her back. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here on Artsgelic. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It is true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed? Were they of a king, he believes? My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oskar, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. 
Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. If either Hjalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later. Adornment? I engraved it. Greetings, White Wolf. I suspected you'd come by. Bah! I was. Oh, uh, yeah. The best. I'll gladly take your tech. What do you. Yup. Looking for someone who can make me a master quality breastplate. Hmm. Never known a master who wasn't a dwarf. Fergus, perhaps? Say he's holed up somewhere in Velen. Wouldn't mind a So long. May your axe never crumble. Me little Norgan's birthday tomorrow. I have no clue what...
be a nice little axe. Pretty like. An axe? Are you serious? Why not? I like it. So you're back. Craft something. So long. Look ill to me. You're pale. Drink last night. Who are there, Witcher? You looking for work? I'm so far Seen the plans? Strange long, super Rupert, don't eat so much. much. Why the spit not? Because we oh, get hit for guts and those... Ah. We heard the young man create. The rocks never face crumble. Ice joint. Aye. Decent folk live here. There's some lead at the bottom. Yeah. Out of me sight. I want to fight. Grant, tell me when you're ready. Ready to fight. Like that. It's about my Erica. See her? I... I gotta win today. She's watching. I don't stand a chance against you. I know it well. But I was thinking, maybe you'd let me win. We'll do it like this. First fight, I'll take a dive. But then we'll go at it again. Best man wins. Enough of this chatter. Fight! Your own you seal. <laughs> what? Lost your nerve? Keep together! Insulted an island of freak. 
Watch that. Keep together. Falgord wins. Thanks. You're good with your hands. Hey, I am. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Foreigner. Thinking of trying my hand. Soon as you're ready. Let. Well then. You've insulted an islander, freak. No. <gasps> Keep together. <gasps> You have two bouts more before you can challenge for the title of best. Wrong as he looks. I recognize your type a mile away. Grand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Who's I? Friends we show heart, foes we show our axe. Feral lads who went treasure hunting in the ruins. I don't know. Uh oh. But I'm afraid we shan't see him again. Remember last year? No one is forced to lay right on that bush. Aye, aye. Water was mad. I died young blood. For something beautiful, though. Fish upstream. Perhaps. Watch yourself, white hair. Make your daughter a priestess of Freya. You sure the goddess favors her? Oh no. Give me an all.
say. Maybe. It is true. But I've got good no reason. No lie in the legend. I hold Siri dear too. You know this damn well. But the mask of Orberus is no trifle. Have you any idea what could happen if it is used? Any idea of the consequences? <laughs>